today we will be learning about statistical inference the important uh, terminologies and notations or definitions used in statistical inference so it is basically an introduction to statistical inference Now, statistical inference is that branch of statistics which is concerned with using probability concept to deal with uncertainty in decision making. The field of statistical inference has had a fruitful development since the later half of 19th century. It refers to the process of selecting and using a sample statistic to draw inference about a population parameter based on a subset of it, the sample drawn from the population. Now let's move on to some important definitions. Population. The aggregate of units taken into consideration depending on the purpose of survey is called a population. For example, if your study is concerned about the weight of all the students of a particular college, then the students in that college is called the population. And if you are uh, planning to study about only certain group or a certain number of students from that college or if you want to randomly pick certain number of students from the college the randomly picked students uh, let's say it may be 13 numbers now that is called a sample of that population so the sample of a population will have all the characteristics of the population it is a representative part of the population the units in the sample as i said before should be chosen in such a way that they possess all the characteristics possessed by the units in the population okay so if the students of the po uh, college is your population then if your particular class or a particular department is your sample or you are randomly picking students to say for a 30 or 40 number of students uh, among all the college students then those students should possess the characteristics characteristics that is possessed by the population now what is parameter now from here on you will be hearing a lot about parameters so first of all you have to keep in mind that parameter is something associated with population now what is exactly parameter it is a statistical constant i hope you all have studied new uh, normal distribution by now and you know what are the parameters of a normal distribution what are they mu and sigma square so that is an example for a parameter a parameter uh, in the case of a normal distribution the pop is the population mean and the population variance sigma square so in general what is a parameter a statistical constant of a population now similarly you have a statistical concept constant for a sample and that is called statistic okay now don't confuse between statistic and statistics okay both are different so a statistic is a statistical constant of a sample uh, and the example is the sample mean x bar which you have already studied and the sample variance uh, sorry this is not x square it is s square uh, maybe I could write it right now so this is small s square okay that was a type typing error uh, okay so uh, coming back now uh, statistic is a what is statistic it is a statistical constant of a sample and uh, for example the sample mean x bar and the sample variance s square is known uh, is uh, are the two examples for statistic now let's move on to statistical hypothesis now what and so now this definition is given as any assumption relating to a population and its parameter so i know this is not enough you need some more explanation over that so 
hypothesis testing begins with an assumption okay now hypothesis testing means uh, what so before uh, we'll come to that later uh, but uh, you should know what hypothesis is right before moving on to hypothesis testing now hypothesis testing as I said begins with an assumption and it is called as a hypothesis mm, that we make about a population parameter a hypothesis uh, is a supposition made as a basis for reasoning so um, let's uh, see what is hypothesis a hypothesis as I said is just a quantitative statement about a population parameter maybe something about the mean of the para uh, of the population um, so for an example we can consider that if we are considering um, if the study or if the study is about the average weight of 100 students of a particular college and if we get a result as 50 kg now we will be interested in knowing whether the sample that is drawn from the population has an average weight of 50 or if it is more than that or not okay so it is uh, simply a quantitative statement which is uh, made about the uh, population parameter so uh, in this example your population parameter is uh, the average weight of 100 students and the result is uh, something that you got as 50 now as I said I might be interested in knowing or testing a sample which is drawn from the that college itself and I just want to look whether the sample mean or uh, the statistic is um, uh, what is greater than your population mean or not uh, so in this case I have given it is uh, whether to check whether it is 55 or not okay so uh, that is something related to um, an example related to hypothesis now about this I think when you do a problem you will get more idea there are different kinds of uh, statistical uh, hypothesis or there are many types of hypothesis uh, you will encounter with simple hypothesis as shown uh, here a hypothesis which uh, completely specifies the population or the parameters of the population is called as a simple hypothesis for example in this particular hypothesis you will be aware about uh, the mu and also the sigma square that is you will be aware about the population mean and also the population variance but there is another case called composite hypothesis which does not completely specify the population and that is called as a composite hypothesis uh, it does not give the information about regarding the parameters uh, for example you will be only provided with a mean but uh, your uh, sigma square will be unknown okay uh, I have taken an example of normal population okay now what is null hypothesis a hypothesis uh, which is tested for possible rejection under the assumption that it is true is called a null hypothesis a null hypothesis is a very useful tool in testing the significance of difference that we will come uh, to all those things later um, and um, the, uh, it, it is the simplest form of hypothesis uh, that asserts that there is no real difference in the sample and the population in particular matter under consideration and that is why we call it as a uh, null hype null okay which means invalid void or you know amounting to nothing uh, or it is zero and the difference uh, found is accidental uh, even if a difference is there it is accidental and it is unimportant arising out of fluctuations of sampling so null hypothesis is um, what it constitutes a challenge and the function of the experiment is to give the facts a chance um, to fail or uh, refute okay so for example if we want to find out whether extra coaching has uh, benefited the students or not we shall set up an null hypothesis that extra coaching has not benefited the students so this is like uh, the, take this as a joke similarly if you want to find out whether a particular drug is effective uh, in curing malaria we will take uh, the null hypothesis that the drug is not effective in curing malaria 
okay so the now the rejection of null hypothesis indicates that the rejection means what our uh, our difference example what i have said just now the drug is not effective in curing malaria uh, so if it is uh, if we are rejecting the null hypothesis then that it means that uh, there is uh, differences uh, are there uh, between the population and the sample now many practical uh, problems aims at the establishment of statistical significance of differences rejection of the null hypothesis may thus indicate a success in a statistical project for so if you look at the um, uh, example that i have just told you right now that is the drug is not effective in curing malaria if you reject that hypothesis then what is the answer yeah the, the it is a successful uh, it, it a drug because we are rejecting the null hypothesis and accepting the uh, truth that the drug is very much effective because our null hypothesis was what uh, yeah rejecting the uh, i mean sorry uh, the drug is not affecting in curing malaria okay i know i have uh, you know a bit confused you right now but it's fine oh, we'll do a problem and then you will uh, no more about null hypothesis now or what is alternative hypothesis the hypothesis which is accepted when the null hypothesis is rejected is called the alternative hypothesis and it is denoted by h1 okay so these two things you have to keep in mind the notations and uh, yes you have to understand the uh, uh, understand whatever i have written over here okay just connect to the example and uh, whatever i have written here just connect both of them and you will get an idea now and in any statistical in in statistical inference there are basically two uh, uh, classes of problems one is hypothesis testing which we were like dealing right now and the other one is estimation now um, now let's see what is estimation uh, we don't have to detail i'm not going to detail explain about estimation right now just uh, just a brief note about what is estimation so when data are collected by sampling from a population the most important objective of a statistical analysis is to draw inferences you know that right so uh, statistical estimation is concerned with the methods by which the population characteristics are uh, estimated from the sample information uh, that is given okay so it may be pointed out that the true value of the parameter is unknown uh, that is it uh, unknown constant and that it can be correctly ascertained only by an exhaustive study of the population um, however you know the study of the population is very much expensive and uh, in most of the practical cases it is in infeasible to enumerate uh, the complete populations apart from census that is being done every 10 years um, and uh, in such cases uh, when uh, you cannot do a complete um, uh, so complete enumeration uh, a realistic approach should be taken so a realistic objective may uh, be, be uh, we will have to obtain uh, to guess or estimate the unknown uh, or the true value of uh, that particular sample data so statistical estimation procedures actually provide us uh, with a means of obtaining estimates of the population parameters which are unknown with the uh, with the desired degrees of precision so uh, that is why we are using uh, that is why uh, the estimation is also really important when it comes to uh, statistical inference so for the time being you just have to know that uh, statistical inference has uh, you know two branches or there are two uh, different kinds of uh, problems that we encounter one is the hypothesis testing and the other one is estimation for the time being we'll be dealing with the hypothesis testing so um, there are more definitions that we will be uh, d that we will discuss in another class but uh, right now i just want to show you that uh, there is a set of procedures that we will have to follow uh, while uh, testing the hypothesis so first of all you have to set up a hypothesis setting up a hypothesis means you have to identify your null and your alternative hypothesis then you have to set up a suitable significance level now what is significance level we will discuss in the next class then you have to set a test criteria uh, you have to do some computation and you have to make the decision based on your uh, computation so these are the five steps uh, or the five procedures that you should do uh, while conducting a hypothesis testing 
uh, and as I said the significance level test criteria will be taken in the next class I hope you all have understood the class thank you